Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A little over a week ago, I did a demo and review of Clean My Mac X, or if you prefer, Clean My Mac 10. After that video posted, I received a number of questions about the application, and a couple of the questions were specifically about the uninstaller. I had mentioned in that video that if you just take an app on a Mac and put it in the trash can, You'll delete the app, but you're going to leave behind a lot of orphan folders and files. And what Clean My Mac X uninstaller allows you to do is not only delete the app, but it will delete all those folders and files so they're not taking up space on your system. Well, I thought I'd show you it in action and try to answer those questions I received. Now I have Clean My Mac uh, X or 10 open, and if I go to the uninstaller, uh, you see when I click on it, it populates the screen with every app that is on my system. Now recently, I started using Affinity Publisher. And I really like that app. But I have another publishing app on my system that I used to use that I'm no longer using. And I want to delete it. It's called the Swift Publisher 5 app. Now if I just took that app again and threw it in the trash, I'll leave behind a number of orphan folders and files. So I want to delete everything and get rid of, you know, and reclaim that disk space. So to get rid of this app, when I'm in the un uninstaller section of Clean My Mac 10, I'll just click on this little radio box right there. And you can see that it is showing that I have the option to uninstall it or reset it. Uh, now, I've never used the reset feature, but it is my understanding that if you have an app that isn't operating properly, it crashes when it tries to open. If you uh, go to Clean My Mac X or Clean My Mac 10 and you click on that radio box and then go to reset that, often that will fix it and take care of the problem. So you could try that for apps that aren't working properly. Now, I want to see what it's uh, going to delete. Uh, obviously, it's going to delete, delete the app itself, but what else? Well, if we go over on the right-hand side and click on Show, you'll see that it's deleting a number of folders and another file. So it is deleting quite a bit that would have been orphaned had I just deleted the app by dragging it into the trash. Now, one of the questions I received was specifically about Lightroom. Apparently, um, on their system, Lightroom isn't operating properly. And Adobe recommended that they... Uh, delete, uninstall Lightroom from their system, and then reinstall it. Well, in the Creative Cloud app, they have a feature to uninstall Lightroom. And they were asking me, should they use the Creative Cloud uninstall feature for Lightroom, or should they just go to Clean My Mac and delete Lightroom that way? And my recommendation, always try the manufacturer's uninstall routine first. So go to the, your Creative Cloud app and delete or uninstall Lightroom there, then reinstall it, and if it's working, good. If it's still not working, then go to Clean My Mac 10 and uninstall it here, then reinstall it through the Creative Cloud app, and hopefully that takes care of the issue. Now the other, uh, actually couple questions, people were a little concerned that it would kind of screw things up on your system because it's uninstalling things that are in the library that is usually hidden. and all I could say is that I've been using Clean My Mac, as I mentioned in that previous video. And by the way, I'll have that demo and review video uh, listed in the description below this video uh, so you could take a look at it. But I've been using this since I bought my first Mac, which I think was around 2005, and I've never had an issue. Uh, that's not to say that it doesn't cause an issue here or there, but I've never, ever had an issue, ever. I've never heard of anyone having an issue. So... I want to get rid of the Swift Publisher 5 app. I have it checked. I see all the files and folders it's going to get rid of, and I'm just going to click on uninstall. And it tells you the space you're saving, and it's done. It's, so it uninstalled it, and it uninstalled all those folders and that other file as well. So it's completely off my system now. I've reclaimed all that disk space, and it's really as easy as that. Now, again, I had mentioned that I had done a demo and review video, but really in that demo, I, I did the smart scan, which you should run uh, quite often. I run it about once a week, maybe once every couple of weeks. Um, if you want to watch that video, again, I'll have it linked below. Also, recently, um, the folks over at Clean My Mac gave me a discount code. Uh, so if you want to purchase it, 
I'll have that discount code listed in the description below as well. It's a 10% off discount code. So that's it. I hope that answered those few questions I received about the uninstaller in Clean My Mac 10. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.